We were actually on the way back from Albany, Georgia for a family reunion, headed back to Virginia. And um, at this point, we've never been to a college before or checked out a university. I see the sign that said uh, Clemson University. So I stopped uh, right off the exit and I asked the uh, lady, how far is uh, Clemson from here? And she was like, well, it's only a couple of miles down the road. All you gotta do is follow the paw print. And so I'm, I'm excited. You know, I'm like a kid in a candy store because I always wanted to see Del Valley. We walked in and uh, the secretary asked, you know, could it help us? And uh, we was like, no, we're just gonna look around. We was looking at all the trophies and the accolades and, and things like that. And she said, Coach Bowden just got back from his run. If you want guys want to wait for a little bit. And I'm like, Tom, did you hear that? You know, we can, I mean, we can meet Tommy Bowden. And as we talked, he was like, uh, and yeah, maybe you'll play here one day. I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe so. And I never thought in a million years that I'd be here. Little did Taj know that the family's faithful detour off Interstate 85 would end up changing his life forever. And for Taj, family has always been an important part of his life. Everything we've done, we've done it together. Um, decisions on uh, where to go to school, you know, where, what type of area we're gonna live in, um, even, you know, my college decision. We stuck together through thick and through thin and we pushed each other, we drove each other. In a sense, my dad wasn't there to raise me. I felt like, you know, the dad gotta be there for his sons. When we were born, you know, he was 10 years into the Navy, decided that, you know, instead of, you know, going to 20 and retiring fully, um, he wanted to just get out and, you know, teach me and my brother, you know, the way of life, um, how to play football, things in school and things of that nature. And, um, you know, I'm definitely grateful for it. Well, he, he kept wanting to be a quarterback, so I, I kind of like took it to another level and, and ordering films, buying footballs bigger than what he played with. You know, just little things like pointing the ball back, you know, before you throw it. When I was about uh, 10 or 11, um, he went out and, and bought a Target, and uh, we used to go out behind the uh, uh, middle school and, and just go in the winter and just throw, throw, throw. And so, you know, people ask me today, well, how I how, how can throw the football like that? You know, but it's certain things that he'd done growing up, which I didn't make him do half of the things that he'd done. He took it upon himself to work on the things that I did teach him, and, and he came, you know, this is where he's at right now. It was that same hard work and determination that helped turn Taj into one of the most heavily recruited quarterbacks in the country. But it was only after another family decision to pick up and move from Virginia Beach to Hampton when all of Taj's football aspirations began to take off. In high school, you don't really realize, you know, if, if the kid could play college football, but if he wanted to play D1 football, we had to make that move over there across the water. You know, some of the former players that were there were the Vicks, the Allen Iversons, Ronald Curry, Tyrod Taylor, Marcus Hagans, the list goes on. If Taj can come over here and play in this environment, he could definitely play college football. Not only was Taj able to play at that level, he dominated. In his three and a half years there, he would go 43 and two as a starter with two state championships while representing Virginia's most famous area code, the 757. It's almost like a fraternity. Um, people are proud to say they're from the 757. You know, it's just one of those things that it's like an elite area and fraternity to be in and, you know, just proud to be a part of that area. And uh, everything we do, we try to do it to the fullest. That type of foundation, you know, from the middle of my ninth grade year to me graduating high school, to help me become the type of person and player that I am today. It turns out to be one of the best decisions that, I, that you know, we've made together. And while the Clemson faithful have become Taj's new family, it's the support of his immediate family that he attributes all of his success. And more than a decade later from that faithful turn down Clemson Boulevard, the Boyd family has found a new home. It's just a couple miles down the road from Clemson in Seneca, South Carolina. 
it's a blessing to have him here, honestly, because I can always go to the house, just kick it. Um, you know, when funds get low, mom will cook something up. You know, if I don't want to go eat nothing or buy nothing to eat, and, um, just go back and just chill. Good to see you. I'm home away from home, peace and quiet, a good cooked meal, you know, a little spoiling. You're going to have your friends or whatever, but it's hard to distinguish, you know, who's really there for what reasons, you know. So with fam, it's always one of those deals where it's, you know, they always got my back, so it's a good deal.